we have completed the first two stages of the hero's journey, the departure and the initiation, and now we're ready to talk about the, the third and final stage of the hero's journey. When the hero's journey is represented in an image, it's almost always a circle. And the reason for that is because it, it completes and it brings us back to the starting point, but we are not the same person that we were when we began the journey. When the, when the hero's journey cycle is completed, we're actually ready to begin a new journey because we're a new and different person. It's kind of a cool concept. So Paulo Coelho said the best way to learn is to do. So in the hero's journey pattern, the departure has six typical steps. The call to adventure, the refusal of the call, the acceptance of the call, usually caused by a herald, and then the meeting with the mentor, where one receives supernatural aid. There's a crossing of the threshold and the hero cannot go back, and then finally into the belly of the whale. And this is a symbolic death of the old person, the person that, that he or she was before. Then according to Joseph Campbell, we move into the initiation. And the initiation is typically the longest of the three stages. The road of trials goes on through the entire initiation. It's not just a single moment. It's multiple events that happen throughout this stage that test the hero's endurance, that test the hero's willpower to continue, and that puts the hero in a whole series of different situations that are going to educate him or her, empowering the hero to be able to um, fight through the return. Usually there's a meeting with the goddess as temptress. Uh, there's an atonement with the father, the apotheosis, which means raising to God status. The hero moves beyond the limits that he or she experiences in this human life. And then there's a great boon, a great gift that the hero has that is going to empower um, the hero to complete the journey as well as um, that will benefit the world when he comes back. Now let's talk about the last, the final stage of the hero's journey, the return. It almost always begins with some kind of a magical flight where the hero returns home. Sometimes he just returns home. There is no, there's no uh, method for him getting home, but think about the Harry Potter series. He returns home in a magic car. He flies on a hippogriff. He flies on a phoenix. Each one of these is, a, is some kind of a magical flight. There's typically a rescue from without. So the hero is rescued from a final plight by an unknown and unexpected source. Uh, Gandalf the White, who we think is dead, returns again. Obi-Wan comes back and you hear Obi-Wan's voice telling Luke to trust the force. In the final stage of the hero's journey, the hero crosses the threshold and returns to the original world where he or she is free to live a normal life. Now, sometimes it just happens and we see the hero reappear in this old world like we do with Indiana Jones. Um, in, in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the children travel back through the wardrobe and find themselves in Narnia. Oftentimes, there can be a forgetting of the things that happened on the journey. It's not as fresh, it's not as crisp, but they never lose the powers that they had. Sometimes it's a ceremonial shifting of the guard as in what happens with Star Wars. Uh, and then in, of course, in The Wizard of Oz, she wakes up from her dream, but she knows that it was not really a dream. At this point, the hero is the master of two worlds. So having completed the journey out and back in, the hero is the master of both the domestic and the alien worlds, and oftentimes can pass over the threshold between the two without further trial. In this final stage of the hero's journey, the hero has the freedom to live. He or she has overcome the trials, both the external trials, those that were challenging and, and life-threatening, and oftentimes world and universe threatening, uh, but also the internal torments, the, the, the feeling of inadequacy that I think many of our heroes face. And they can return and resume a, a normal life. And that life can take lots of different forms. Sometimes they take on the path of wisdom and they become the mentor themselves. They become the teacher. Um, sometimes they get married as in what happens in Harry Potter, settle down and have a family. And perhaps they go adventuring again. 
but it's kind of a cool concept. You have the freedom to live, but you're not the same person. So you're not going to live the same life that you did before you went on this here. So if you have been working on your outline, like I asked you to, as you were doing your reading, it should be done. And the one thing that you'll want to pay attention to is which of those steps of the hero's journey does Coelho include and which ones does he repurpose? Which ones does he not include at all? That becomes the discussion. If it doesn't have the elements of the return, is it truly a hero's journey? Good discussion to have. Uh, and then upload your two theme statements, each with three paragraphs, one over the departure, the initiation, and the return. Uh, this week we will add our introduction and conclusion to one of those and we'll have a really solid paper.